Namaste, everybody. Good morning and welcome. We are doing exercise two in the morning session. First, we completed exercise one, observing the self by the self. And now we are on to exercise two, observing the self and the body by the self. In step one of this exercise two, we try to observe these two realities, the self and the body. Self being a unit of consciousness, body being a material unit. We try to observe these two as distinct entities to try to observe that I am there and I know that I am there because I can see my activities going on within me and to observe that the body is also there. I can see that the body is there. How do I see that the body is there? I read the various sensations from the body, therefore I know that the body is there. So these two distinct entities we try to observe in step one. In step two, we were trying to see the interaction between these two units. The self, the unit of consciousness and the body, the material unit. How is this interaction taking place between the self and the body? And we were trying to observe that in the body there are many activities taking place and so there are many sensations in the body. I choose to, I decide what sensations to read, when to read them, based on what I think is important for me. I am the one who gives the meaning to these sensations. And then I give some instruction to the body. This interaction that is happening, reading of the sensations, giving the instructions, this is all information that is being passed from one unit to the other unit, from the body to the self and through the self to the body. There is no physical thing that is being passed, no physical object, no physical entity that is going from one to the other. It is just information. And we were trying to observe this, trying to observe the instructions that we are giving to the body, trying to see whether we are giving instructions to the body all the time or only sometimes. We were also trying to observe the sensations taking place in the body and asking this question, are we reading the sensations in the body all the time or only sometimes? And are we reading all the sensations in the body or some of them? And what is the basis on which we are choosing to read some sensations? So we also said that we would try to do any activity that we are doing, try to do it slowly and pay attention to this interaction between the self and the body that is happening during that activity. Amolji. Namaste Didi, uh, namaste, namaste to all. Um, Didi, I observed, uh, I mean, I uh, observed these things, um, wanted to share, like I uh, see I uh, started with, suppose I want to observe now sensation in my thumb. Mm -hmm. So previously I was not observing. Mm -hmm. 
बट वेन आई से दैट आई कैन नो ऑब्जर्व और आई ब्रिंग दैट अटेंशन टू माई थम देन आई कैन आई स्टार्टेड ऑब्जर्विंग द सेंसेशन देर देन आई कैन गिव इंस्ट्रक्शन टू माई थम दैट यू इट कैन मूव so once i slow down this process i could see that um i could um, give attention to a specific part of my body then i shifted my attention to next finger then i can then i i was not observing what is happening in the thumb yes i could observe what is happening in my uh, finger say index finger very nice but then i could actually observe i mean i can attention i can i decided that okay i will now observe attend to all the fingers and then i can uh, feel the sensation from all the fingers yes nice um now um yeah so uh, that i could see mm. so what i could deduce is like <clears throat> when we um bring into our attention uh, or in our observation we can different parts of the body and then we can start sensing them um so we can exclude from our observation and include so it's a flexible thing maybe yes yes where we can there's a the choice thing. that we are making no choice yes yes yes, yes. then um but now uh, the question which arises actually ki <clears throat> so this is a um, so anyway i mean this is kind of a we are doing uh, a purposeful observation in this process mm-hmm. like i am observing even even we are uh, this exercise one exercise two we are doing purposeful observation we are giving some instructions so it is helping us to observe certain things like this mm-hmm. tapes on so my uh my question was like when we observe something something and uh you mentioned about known and unknown i mean then the last answer mm-hmm. so <clears throat> um this is reflection or question or inquiry regarding the process of observation only mm-hmm. that um suppose we are can we observe something which is not known to us or which is unknown to us because now uh, see when we are observing our thumb then we start so we have to bring the object in the our attention and then we will observe or something which is completely unknown to us we will not recognize because many times observation is on our earlier experience so um, there is certain experience of sensation and now i label the word as sensation to it um, so when i say that i am observing sensation i there is my experience of sensation mm-hmm. so a uh, question to me like uh, two types of question one is can we observe something which is unknown to us completely like mm-hmm. for example i mean there is some in the ch- children we don't see the feeling of ego ego uh, in the sense uh, uh, i am doing something or i need to get importance say i mean let's not get into but and in us um, i we have seen this that i should get importance or something so whenever some act happens we can recognize the ego because we have experienced the ego in ourselves okay so mm-hmm. if we have not experienced the ego in ourselves we will also not ex- able to ex- recognize the ego in others and uh, other things so can we observe something which is unknown to us completely um, that is one thing question um, the second question is uh, which i felt is like so what we are observing is what we want to observe in some mm-hmm. sense that we are bringing these things to our observation or some instructions but we will we be able to observe uh, what is there yes because 
yeah so mm-hmm. um actually is there and uh, so um, so like i mean just extending like is i mean um, so i think i you got like yeah um, i i see it only as one question really yeah Hmm. Isn't it? Truth, देखना है. I mean, whether we want, to, will we be able to observe the truth, or will we be able to observe what we want to observe in some sense? Yeah. And so, um, yes. process of observing also, like, see, I mean, with this body, <clears throat> it's very, very. It is. I mean, I can see some part of body, like I can see my finger and other things, and I can bring them into my observation. Hmm. But there are subtler aspects. I mean, even I assume, like for now, we assume there are conscious in it. There is a uh, material in it, and there is a space. So, for example, I have experiencing my feelings, and so uh, I can say it is as a self and body. But space, for example, mm-hmm. it's not a physical space or time space. Mm-hmm. We call in physics that is not the. Mm-hmm. So now I want to observe space. Which I don't get touch feel of. Hmm. For example, I don't want what object I want to observe or bring into my uh, attention. So, will I be able to observe that? I mean, I am just giving an example example of it. So, this how this um, journey of uh, bringing the things from unknown to known or kind of uh, development of observation skills or consciousness refinement of observation dekhna this hmm. happen I yeah mean. so again we'll come back to the activities of the self as long as we are working with the lower activities of the self we are going by you know things from outside if we are not able to get the guidance from the higher activities isn't it yes. Yes. so right now if the higher activities are dormant in us we are going by all these other sources from outside isn't it something yes. i read something somebody tells me something i see on the media and so on yes so from that i have not seen it hmm. i am churning this information within me yes. i may have assumed that i know it but yes. i wouldn't call that knowing yes isn't it till yes. we like you said rightly till we experience it ourselves it is not known to us correct yes so right now because that guidance from the higher activities is not there so we see that some things we know some things we don't know and what we don't know we may be assuming we know that is also there isn't it yes. as yes. we go further we'll be able to see that as we uncover some of these higher activities that we can know more than what is there in the imagination hmm. we have the ability to see directly through the self through the higher activities and as we go to the higher activities we can see subtler and subtler things hmm. like this thing of the self organization or hmm. even if we say the relationship hmm. now to be able to see that the relationship is there and to see my role in the relationship that stark contrast comes once the contemplation becomes activated you see that your focus shifts from trying to get the feeling from the other to trying to see what your role or your participation can be in helping the other yes isn't it yes that may yes. have been something maybe just as a concept or something that you didn't think was possible but now it has shifted that shift may have taken place that means now 
I know this, that this is possible. So similarly, as we go higher and higher, ultimately, at the highest activity within myself, there is the possibility of seeing everything that is there in the existence. Yes. Ultimately, this, you know, what we say, what we talk of as the space, that the space is transparent, the space is, you know, all pervasive. Yes. And by virtue of being in space, every unit is reflected onto every other unit. In fact, this entire coexistence is reflected onto every, you know, in, in us. And that is mm. a representation of that is what we are referring to as the natural acceptance. So as we pay more and more attention, as we develop our competence, we will be able to see all of that. It will become our experience. Right now, it may be information. Yes. But even now, we have a glimpse of it in the form of the natural acceptance. This natural acceptance, you can see that you are able to get it immediately, the answer. Even a child can, even you can, even anybody can. That glimpse is there. But it's already there. Yeah. But only when we pay attention to it, we see it. If we don't pay attention to it, we don't see it. Like many people don't pay attention to it, don't refer to it. They don't see it. But it is there. So similarly, all these higher activities, that access yeah, point is there, but we are not paying attention. So as we keep paying attention, then slowly we can develop the competence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Didi, what I mean, uh, just to reconfirm, like when we started this exercise one, like uh, we were having, I was at least I was having a difficulty in seeing my feelings. Mm -hmm. So you suggested that see your thoughts, mm -hmm. but while seeing the thoughts, this process of seeing, it's though we say see your thoughts. While this process of seeing, we will observe the thoughts, but we'll get into touch of our feeling also. Like we ask mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. So um, this our ability or uh, uh, our uh, capacity to observe. So we have this capacity to, uh, though we give a purpose ourselves, we can see something which is beyond that purpose. Also. Mm -hmm. We get in touch with because as we practice this ability also refines. Yes. So certain other activities in the self say get what activated when we practice. And through that, certain other things get visible to us. So that's how we move from known to un I mean currently unknown. Mm -hmm. Probably they we have this cap innate capacity that they are already known to us. I mean when these activities get activated, I mean, of course, this I am trying to uh, understand the mechanism or uh, the process. Process, yeah, process. Mm -hmm. And just to reaffirm myself so that I will be into this process more and more. Actually, I have to practice the process. I mean, just not understanding yes. won't help. Yeah. Yes. So, true. What you're saying is very true. That's why we go up. You can see this, you're progressing stepwise in the activities in the self, right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. So slowly you go up the steps and that is, that is right because with that paying attention part, we can progress and we can see that our competence already we can see it is developing. If we keep yes. paying attention, we'll be able to develop it finer and finer, you know, sharpen it more and more but of course it's a slow process and it will take time any process you know paying attention i mean if we see academics also to yeah. reach the point that we had to reach at what skills we are using today in academics how much time we have spent learning if you start right. from abc you have spent many yeah. years of your life learning this yeah. skill Absolutely. isn't it 
so here also you have to pay attention we have to at least pay attention uh, once we start paying attention in earnest we see that many things are possible that we are able to see more and more and more subtle finer things yeah, yeah. and we then keep the things open yes so yes while we are uh, we have some defined process and some uh, some through experience of our co explorers we have some Uh, definite checkpoints also yes but if we observe something different then also we can share and you know check whether it is contradicting or whether that is so that's the process we can continue to follow right yeah <clears throat> yes. yes true thanks yeah thank you thank you so this is an important point that we have to keep it open because we can see now even today right now we might be seeing a tree or a bird and we put a name to it and we say we know this this is a mango tree or we know that that is a crow or a pigeon or a dove but do we really know it we are just seeing the form and we have given a name to it but we don't know anything more about it that more to be known we won't be able to see through the gross body but through the self we have the capacity to see the innateness the natural characteristic all of those details the inheritance all of that you know we'll be able to see that directly once we have the competence so we need to build our competence didi Yes. So just one finer thing, like uh, as you said that there is this uh, you have to give uh, I mean importance to observe certain things. So when it becomes important for you to observe yourself, hmm. like we deliberately give this importance, then they become visible to us. Yes. So of course we so we have to uh, this urge to observe. at one level we have to maintain that urge to observe mm. but also don't get disturbed yes or disturbed <laughs> so it's a fine balance we have to yes keep that yeah so believe right. that you it will be visible sometime we keep at it yeah so keep at it your, yeah. keep at it and keep working on having the lower activities in line with the natural acceptance so when there is harmony that disturbance <clears throat> is not there then yeah. we can see Mm, yes then we have yes, the clarity yes. to be able to see but as long as there is disturbance we will not be able to see yeah true yeah okay. yeah thank you thank you okay um we have not yet done the observation but i think we'll go forward a little bit and then take a few minutes to observe so now we have to observe this who is deciding to give instructions to the body or to read specific sensations from the body you will see that we are already talking about this so in step 3 we are trying to observe this who is the one who is deciding to give instructions to the body or to read specific sensations is it the self or it is the body so we may be able to see that i am the one who is deciding to give instructions to the body and i am the one who is deciding to read the specific sensations from the body those sensations which i consider important so these decisions regarding all this exchange of information between me and the body they are entirely mine and we can try to observe this right now for a few minutes i'll mute myself and we'll try to observe this and then maybe if there's time we might take one odd observation but tomorrow we can discuss this further for the hindi session so we'll try to do this observation in a little more depth today all day try to see you know are things you know is the body just moving or 
am I deciding and giving the instruction? I may not be seeing that I am um, deciding, but let's pay attention to this. Who is deciding to give the instructions and who is deciding to read the sensations? Am I bound to read the sensation from the body or am I choosing to read the sensations from the body? All this exchange of information, let's look a little more deeply today and we'll take your observations tomorrow. Now it's time for the Hindi session. So we'll switch to Hindi.